Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. Some of you asked for it, so now you get it. Let's talk about some magnetic caps today. Yes, magnetic caps, the best kind of caps, the only kind of caps that should exist. They are my favorite and I will talk about them. There is something satisfying about just having a, a fantastically made magnetic cap that just snaps right back into place on the bottle. Yeah, it's kind of a stupid thing to get worked up about, but whatever, stupid videos is my thing. So in today's video, that's what we're doing. We're talking magnetic caps. Let's check these out. And guys, if you want to shop for some magnetic cap having bottles, go to twistedlily.com or luckyscent.com. Use that code GENTS10. Save yourself 10% off that order. Now, this one is not a dishonorable mention, but I wanted to bring it up very quickly. And it is the Brioni fragrances. These have magnetic caps that actually feel decent and they got a nice pull to them, but they just kind of spin in place. So they don't have that nice feature where you give it a little spin and it pops up. And when you put it on, it automatically slides into place every time where the logo is facing the right way. Not a big deal. This one still gets a pass. I like it. And then this one is not in the official best but uh, I want to mention it because it's different than all my other caps. This is Le Lodon from Jacques Fott, and it's basically just like, whoa, this is the sledgehammer type of uh, magnetic cap. So instead of going about it with any kind of nuance or anything like that, they were just like, make the cap as heavy as possible and just make it slam down every time. It does hold on pretty well. You have to give it like a, a strong shake to have it come loose so you can pick it up from the cap and uh, you can spin this one freely as well. So it doesn't look like super classy. It's the sledgehammer. That's why I shouldn't do videos like this. I just. All right, enough screwing around. Let's get into this. First one I want to talk about is Mystery Tobacco Carolina Herrera. This cap is awesome. This one's heavy duty. Listen to it. Ooh, snaps right into place. See that? Give it a twist. Ooh, pops right up. Got the CH on top of the cap. You got it on the inside of the cap and a CH on the atomizer. And then the atomizer is pressurized. This is the total package. This is fantastic. This is how packaging should be done. This is nice. Next up, let's talk Dior. This is Sauvage Elixir. Everybody knows these caps. Really nice, good magnet there. They do the little thing where you twist it and they pop up and you can kind of do this very satisfying thing where you just spin it and it pops up and down. Some of you out there do that. Don't play like you don't. Other people acting like I'm weird. You see how many fragrances I got here? I'm automatically weird, man, come on. So yeah, Sauvage Elixir, these Sauvage Caps, those are really nice. And then of course, these bad boys, the granddaddies. This is Bois d'Arson. Same thing, only bigger. That's what she said. These are really nice. I love the Sauvage Caps. I love the Dior Caps. And by that token, Chanel, same deal. Blue de Chanel, these caps are really nice. Got the Chanel logo up there inside the cap. And actually these little tiny Chanel caps, man, they pack a punch. Like, look at that. That is a strong cap. Dang, you have to really shove that mofo. So those are really good caps. Dig all of those. Armani Code Parfum, this one, it, it's trying to be like Sauvage's cap. It's trying to be like Chanel's cap. You got the Giorgio Armani logo up there. You can do the thing. It feels different feels different than the other caps because when you lift up on this, let me see if you can hear this. You may not be able to, but we'll try again. It's like ASMR. I'm opening my cap. My cap is open. Weird. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like it. it's almost like this little suction. It sounds like something like a, a suction is being broken. Yeah, it's probably not coming through super clearly there, but it feels different when you pull it off. It's not quite as nice as the Dior or Chanel ones for me, but you know what? I'll take it. Now, this one I think is very classy. I've always liked it. The Amouage magnetic caps. Now, they were not always magnetic. I have some older bottles where it just sat down, you, you pushed it down and it clicked into place on the bottle, uh, but then they switched over and went to magnetic. So actually for a number of Amouage fragrances, you can find them with both the old style and the new style caps and people will pay a premium for the old style. But I've always liked these. I think they feel good when you take it off as good heft to it. Yeah, see it sits in nice and snug. Now it's not the strongest magnet. Like these ones are a little easier to, to break the seal like that, but 
they just look darn good. Now this is a newer one that I've gotten, the Mean Carved Oud. Really like these caps. They have a little bit of a rubbery feel to them. And these bad boys, ooh, nice. That's satisfying, oddly satisfying. I really like these magnetic caps where you get it close and it just kind of pulls it right out of your hand and like locks it in. And that one has a, ooh, that one's a strong hold. Look at that. That's good quality. Also, you can give it a twist, do the thing, do the thing, the thing, thing, thing. Oh no. My dude Jeremy Fragrance has cucumbers. I got magnetic caps. So I dig that one really, really nice. Next up, I wanna talk about Mansara. I do like their new magnetic caps. Now they look very dinky compared to pretty much all the other caps that we've looked at here today. They're small, you know, just a little neat cap, but they do have a good, a good pull to them. You can easily pick the bottle up by the cap. So I really dig that uh, because I am one of those people that oftentimes will grab a bottle by the cap. I know you're not supposed to. I know that it's led to near disaster multiple times. I still do it though. And uh, this one, you got no issues. So I appreciate that. And also I know that when they have this nice magnetic cap that underneath there is a nice pressurized atomizer. So even though it's a, a small thing, I actually really prefer this new style compared to Mancera's older style with the screw on atomizer and then the screw on cap. Some people preferred those because they were easier to decant because you would just unscrew it and then you had access to the whole bottle. But as far as the usage of the bottle itself, I like this new one. Next, I wanna talk about Missoni. This is Missoni Wave. Now, this fails some of the things that I like in all the ones that I've talked about so far. You can spin this one. It doesn't do the thing, but it does have a good hold. And more than anything, it completes the look of the bottle and it looks really nice. The style of the cap looks really good, completes the look of the bottle, Missoni up top, the whole thing looking slick and has a decent grip too. Not as strong as some of these others, especially because the bottle's heavy. So this one will lose the grip a bit easier, but still really nice. Well done, especially when you consider that's a cheapie. Let's do a couple more here. Louis Vuitton afternoon swim. Now this is a, a pretty simple magnetic cap, but I like it because it's a, a different look. Now when you look at the bottle, it looks like the cap has like a plunger that goes down into the bottle, but it doesn't. That is an optical illusion. It's actually just a little flat cap that sits right on top there. It's not a super strong magnet with this one, but I think it just looks really clean. It looks slick and I like it. Very simple but well done. So I'll give it props for that, even though these fragrances are pretty expensive, which you expect from the house, but I wish I could find them for less. Now, the last one I'm gonna talk about is from Carolina Herrera. This is 212 VIP Black. Now there are parts about this I like and parts I don't like. I like that it completes the look of the bottle. I like that it's a strong magnet. And when you put it on, it's solid, real nice. What I don't like, and this is stupid, I, I'm fully aware, is that it's not as easy to get like a nice close on it sometimes as it is with some of these others. Like what'll happen is it kind of does that and then you gotta fix it. Yeah, like that. But outside of that, it's really nice. I like these bottles, they're sturdy, they're hefty and uh, they feel good in the hand. So I like these caps pretty well. Oh wait, wait, I'll, I'll do another one. Wilhelm, Wilhelm Perfumery. This is London Funk. I got this in a little while ago. Um, yeah, I don't think that fragrance is for me. Don't think it's for me, guys. Doesn't do it for me. Maybe I'll review it before too long, but uh, I don't like it. But I do like that cap. Look at that. That's right. It does the thing. And uh, it's got a good heft to it. Strong magnet, you see that? It looks good, looks sleek, completes the look, very nice. So this one I wanted to bring up really quickly. All these bottles look the same. And oftentimes I don't like that when the only difference is the text on the front. But with these bottles, they have their own unique look. And so I give it a pass. All right, guys, I'm going to roll out of here. Thank you for hanging with me here until the end. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again another day with another video. See you guys.